Yeah, topping the news this half hour as the, le the legal battle over the statewide mask mandate plays out in court later this week. We're looking ahead at how that decision could impact education. For now, the mask mandate remains in place. That includes wearing masks in schools. The state education department and school districts here have been clear about that. And there's a separate countywide mask mandate in Erie County. But what happens in schools if the statewide mandate goes away and the Erie County one remains? I spoke with two Western New York attorneys about that today to get their takes. If the county executive says uh, I'm going to use my emergency powers and impose a mask requirement, then they would have to follow that unless a court invalidated that by saying, for example, there's no reason for emergency powers. You know, there isn't uh, factual circumstances which justify them. Uh, they might also take the position of court, the same as happened with the Supreme Court and the court downstate, and say that that's a legislative move and it's not something that should be done by an administrative person. If the court does lift the stay, then the New York State Department of Health mask mandate is no longer enforceable, and we will be left with Erie County's mask mandate. Uh, the decision by the Nassau County Supreme Court does not affect Erie County's mask mandate. So if you are um, going to an indoor public facility or a school, for example, in Erie County, um, then you will have to abide by the uh, county mask mandate. Barry Covert says if the statewide mask mandate goes away and you're in a county without a mask mandate, then you wouldn't have to wear a mask in school unless the state education department does its own mask mandate for public schools or your school district does one. And then both attorneys say more legal battles could pop up. We should know more on Friday. That's when the next court hearing is scheduled for. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.